Today's deck tech is a nightmare straight from the mind of Alfred Hitchcock. Birds! Birds as far as the eye can see. Our commander of the flock of flapping fighters is Castrol the Windcrested. Castrol the Windcrested is a 5 mana, 3 generic, 1 white, 1 blue, 5 4 legendary creature bird scout with flying. And whenever one or more birds you control deal combat damage to a player, choose one. You may put a bird creature card from your hand or graveyard onto the battlefield with a finality counter. Put a plus one plus one counter on each bird you control, or draw a card. This deck's game plan is pretty simple. Get the birds down, drop the commander, overwhelm your opponents with awesome aviation value. If you like birds, combat damage, and overwhelming value, then this is the deck for you. Now I know one of the drawbacks of just dropping birds in is that they come with those pesky finality counters. So if they happen to get removed, then they are exiled. Well, don't worry about that because there are a surprising number of ways to get rid of finality counters. Another really strong point of the deck is that with Castrol's ability to drop birds and draw cards, you are rarely tapping mana on your turn, which opens up a really responsive deck giving you time to load up your hand because even after a board wipe, as long as your commander sticks around, all of those cards will eventually find their way back to the nest. Speaking of creatures, let's take flight with our creatures helping you pilot your way to victory. Starting with the birds, Battlefield Raptor, Cloudfin Raptor has evolved so it can get bigger as we drop more birds. Harrier Strix has a unique ability to let us draw and discard. Since our commander can get creatures out of the graveyard, this is all upside for us. Bay Falcon, Watcher of the Spheres gives our flying creatures discounts as well as grows as other things with flying enter, even if it's only for a turn. Avian Mimeomancer helps turn our little birds into big birds or slightly bigger birds. Best part is it increases their base power and toughness to 3-1, so any counters the birds have accrued boost the roost even higher. But I'll get roost of it. Avon Sunstriker has Double Strike. Empyrean Eagle boosts all other flyers. Kangi's Lieutenant boosts flyers again. Lieutenant Kurtar gets rid of pesky attackers. And again, since Castrol brings birds back, this can be used multiple times. Warden of the Evos Isles is another discount flyer. Impaler Shrike is a crazy good card in the deck, allowing us to draw three cards pretty consistently, then ditch the finality counter and do it all over again. Maneldor Swift Savior is a prime example of how to get rid of finality counters by blinking the birds with them on. Thieving Magpie for card draw, Tyne Shrike has Infect, which is a surefire game plan making these little guys an instant threat. Avon Warhawk, Celestial Gatekeeper can get two birds back from the graveyard, but only once. Coveted Peacock goads creatures to make sure scary threats aren't coming at our birds. Guahir, Greatest of the Eagles, comes with the upside if we gain three lives or more, we get more birds. Kangi Sky Warden gives our birds a boost. Shriek Raptor, again, another bird with Infect. Steel Plume Marshall gives another boost to our bird brethren. Wingmate Rock is a bird dumping machine. With a couple blinks in the proper ways, you can create an instant avian army, as well as gaining life when you attack. Hi, my Yorian Sky Nomad, the modern pariah, blinks any creature we want, which gets rid of multiple pesky finality counters, allowing our birds to keep soaring. Crookclaw Elder provides some card draw, and Eagle of Deliverance gives an indestructible counter, making our commander even more resistant. Onto our non-birds, Scholar of New Horizons removes counters to get us lands. This includes finality counters, so great synergy there. Errant and Giada lets us cast spells from the top of our library. Jubilant Skybonder basically gives all our creatures ward 2. And lastly, Sanctuary Warden removes counters to draw cards and make tokens. You can't beat that value. A whopping $100 value for $19.95. Moving into our sorceries. Requisition Raid has Spree, so it can do multiple different things, from getting rid of artifacts and enchantments to boosting our birds with counters. Charter Course and Winged Words for card draw. Flood of Recollection to get back any spell we need. Battle Screech for some extra birds. And Austere Command for a hard reset. In response, let's go to our instance. Clock Spinning is another way to get rid of finality counters, or counters in general. It also has buyback, so we can use it over and over again. Cloud Shift, Flicker of Fate, Momentary Blink, Teferi's Time Twist, and Ghostly Flicker to either protect a bird or remove a finality counter. Rustler Rampage again has Spree, giving us a way to untap all creatures target player controls, or we can give target creature double strike. Lofty Denial and Negate for counter spells. For removal, we have Reality Shift and Resculpt. Rounding out the instance, Deluge to tap down our opponent's boards. While we might not always need it because the deck is full of flyers, we can help an opponent look at a more appealing target 
other than our birds. Frantic search and thirst for knowledge for more card draw. Lastly, make a stand to give the board some protection. For artifacts, we have Wayfarer's Bobble, Azorius Signet, and Talisman of Progress for Mana Ramp. Kefnet's Monument will help with our blue creature cost, as well as tapping down some opponent's important creatures. Horn of the Mark will help dig through the top five to find more things to get out with Castrol. Rounding out the artifacts, we have Biden of Thassa to make sure all those birds get value from attacking our opponent. For enchantments, Favorable Winds is an anthem for our birds, Military Operation, Coastal Piracy, and the New Room card Locker Room slash Bottomless Pool all draw us cards for combat damage. Far Traveler will help blink away those finality counters. And lastly, Raven's Warning, while the final chapter doesn't do anything for us, the other two are awesome. For land, it's pretty basic. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Prairie Stream, 15 Islands, and 18 Plains. That's it. That's the deck. There are no infinite combos, but the deck is still a blast to play. The deck is also really budget, clocking it at under $17. Feel free to pick it up, then pick up your opponents and drop them on a spike. Like a shrike. That's a kind of bird. Birds! If you like the deck and want to upgrade it, Arcane Signet and Soul Ring to help speed the deck up. Other than that, extra turn spells are going to take the deck to the next level. Nexus of Fate, Beacon of Tomorrow, All Runs Epiphany, whatever extra turn spells you like. Next, let's beef up the counterspell section with Counterspell, Swan Song, Strict Serenade, or again, any counterspell your heart desires. Lastly, for an extra win con, I would throw in an Approach of the Second Sun. With all the card draw you're doing, if you cast this once, you're probably going to cast it again almost immediately. Slicing into cards to cut. Lofty Denial is good on a budget, but it could be better, I'd cut it. Deluge is a wash, but it could be better, I'd cut it. Horn of the Mark is great for digging, but we play so much card draw, it's a little unnecessary when stacking up against extra turn spells. I'd cut it. Kefnet's Monument can be good, but compared to Soul Ring or Arcane Signet, it's no contest. I'd cut it. Lastly, the Raven's Warning is good for our budget, but it could be better, I'd cut it. Keep in mind, these are just suggestions. The best thing to do is to play the deck and see what works and doesn't work in your playgroup. Well, that's the deck with upgrades and cards to cut. If you stayed this long in the video, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It goes a long way to helping the channel, and I appreciate it greatly. For October, I plan on releasing weekly videos on the spooky decks I've built from Dustmourne, so if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.